Welcome back to Four on the Floor. I am Dan Rubenstein. That is Matt Ufford. And also welcome to No Pants Friday. No There's pants. no way they could ever know if we're telling the truth. But let's get into the NCAA tournament. It began yesterday, continues today and throughout the weekend. Uh, a lot of interesting stories, but not a lot of upsets. Do you care what, what is interesting to you so far? I'd say uh, VCU over Wichita State, 12 over 5, our first yep. upset. I, uh, I'd gone with Wichita State specifically because our, our uh, SB Nation's college basketball expert, said, Nick Vasulo, said definitely All VCU has no chance. Wichita State, and I said, you're right. And I, I just, that's why I should always trust my own ignorance. We're both near the bottom what of the you? SB Nation studio pool. Um, yeah, it was it was the end of the Syracuse game. The referees were Ooh. god flipping <laughs> awful. And sort of like, ooh, um, lane violation, or that was sort of out of bounds on UNC Asheville. Yeah, the, uh, the lane violation was was the right call by Little Ticky Tack. The it out of bounds was ridiculous. Dumb, just dumb. Moving on, moving yes. on. Uh, Mario Williams, $100 million to play for Buffalo. 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 Uh, we actually do have, because we're not all that bright with the Buffalo Bills, we actually do have a resident Buffalo Bills expert who is going to give some strong opinions. That's Isaac. Um, moving on. But $50 million. <laughs> would you take $50 million to be a Buffalo? I yes. would take $50 million to do anything. I will literally do anything for but $50 you, million. But if you did $50 million for Buffalo or $40 million to play in like Chicago. Oh, yeah, Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Let's, let's move to something a little weirder. Um, NBA had a really weird Thursday, and we'll probably have a weird second half of the season. Nate McMillan fired all sorts of trades. The Wizards get rid of the Jeb Elevator. Nick Young, all of his one assists a game. Yep. Were there any stories that stood out to you? Do you care about the big Thursday? Derek Fisher gone. I, I, I like the, the, the notion that uh, the Knicks uh, pushed Nick D uh, Mike D'Antoni out. Right. And then they played the Blazers, and the Blazers immediately lost their coach. I'd like to think of it as like a cancer. Like whoever the Knicks touch, like they, their coach <laughs> just gets kicked out. That's that's a fair point. The, the Blazers had 29 points into the third quarter. That's not good. That's not professional basketball. No, that's no, no good. Let's talk about something more fun, though. You are very excited about this. Dude, so uh, Turkish soccer. And Turkish, Turkish so soccer. Turkish soccer, they're, they're the craziest fans in the entire world, like dangerous. Yeah. They, they were told they couldn't take flares into the stadium, rolled out the 90-foot troll face problem, and then lit flares underneath it. Turkish soccer fans are dangerous. Is that first place on your most dangerous place to see a game of footy? It's, it's straight up like, like the games the games in Turkey. No, I would absolutely not go. Like like your children will be murdered. This man is a marine <laughs> and would not go to Turkey in fear of flares and murdery children. No, I don't. I think you said children being murdered, but I would assume that the children also murder themselves. Probably. That is true. Yeah. That's about time to wrap. My name is Dan Rubenstein. That is Matt Ufford. No pants today. We'll see you soon. And subscribe. <laughs>